Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. And leave, leave uh, comments, folks. I'll get to them within 24 hours if I can. Uh, I guess you can tell I'm in a flannel, so Mother Nature's being bipolar around here. When I got up this morning, it was like 30 degrees. Overnight low was 26. Then it was starting to warm up. Tonight, they're saying it's going to be 42 degrees. And, I, and people wonder why we get sick around here. Oh well, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about, I guess you, you can figure out by with what I named this, stop the insanity, stop the madness, First thing on the agenda, Switzerland. Switzerland apparently has approved suicide by doctor. They're using a, a pod, I guess an egg looking thing that you get into. It evacuates the oxygen, replaces it with CO2 and with nitrogen so that you get a euphoric, euphoric uh, feel just before you die. You do know that Democrat-controlled cities and states are going to want this. And they're going to want to put people like me and like you. And if you have a, have a disability of some kind, they're going to suggest this world's gone nuts. Totally insane. The whole world's living in fear. I heard a uh, Democrat, some woman who's Democrat Congresswoman, and I think she's from New Jersey, if I remember right. <coughs> Brain dead liberal. Brain dead liberal was extolling the virtues of Bill de Blasio. And saying how wonderful all these mandates he's doing. He's less than a month out from being out of a job. And he's in my personal opinion, when he leaves office, he's going to leave scorched earth behind him. And Eric Adams is going to have a heck of an uphill battle to get things done. Then, let's talk about the crime wave. We'll, we're going to talk crime later in the week or next week. But let's talk crime. No, I think I'll save the crime for next or for the next for another video because there's a bunch there that needs to be covered. Then you got Ilar Omar
complaining about Lauren Boebert and some comments she made. And Lauren Boebert has come out repeatedly and apologized for her comment. And instead of being magnanimous, she wants to push the issue. Now this is, no pun intended, but this is a kettle calling the pot black. This is the same woman, Ilar Omar, is the same woman who made all kinds of comments and nasty threats to the nation of Israel. Who accused Israel of committing apartheid, genocide. Hmm. Folks, whether you're Democrat or Republican, or independent or Green Party or whatever, I want you to stop and put your thinking cap on for just a second. With leaders like this, you know, Joe Biden's people are trying to spin the fact. Nothing to see here. It's all okay. Good news for you folks. If it was all okay, they wouldn't have to be talking about it. But they know something's wrong. They know it's all wrong. Stop the insanity, folks. Whether they're Republican or Democrat or Independent or what, vote in people that actually have a brain. Don't vote them in for their good looks. And I think that's what got, that's all that got uh, Kamala Harris and AOC elected, was their good looks. Because it sure as hell wasn't for their common sense. Now, let's talk about AOC. God, one of my favorite subjects. You know, guys, she proves the fact that liberals don't have a clue. She came out last week saying that all this rampant, uh, uh, rampant uh, looting that's been going on, sorry. I'm watching about three things happen around me and brain got off track. She's trying to say that all this looting that's been going on is not happening. I got news for her. This is not, this is not the movie Animal Crackers and you're not, she's not Groucho Marx asking the question, who are you going to believe, me or your lying eyes? Folks, crime is running rampant in all these Democrat controlled cities and states. Eric Garcetti the other day came out bragging that they'd caught 14 of the 19 people who raided a, a Neiman Marcus store. What he failed to tell anybody was 
before the ink was dry on the arrest record, on the arrest warrants, all 14 of them were back out on the street with no bail. That's a subject we'll talk about it in the crime report. Folks, I tell you, there's a series of things you need to have. Food, water, medical, self-protection, shelter. And some of you, I'll tell you, you need to get self-protection before you get anything else. Which is rare with me because I think you need food before you need a gun. But if you live in a city where it's legal to carry, carry your gun, you need to do it. If you have a concealed carry, you need to carry it. I was just watching a uh, video the other day of a guy or person turned out to be a woman in Las Vegas who's chasing kids with the, with their car because she was mad. She was trying to run over high school kids. Because she had an argument with one of them. And then we have Alec Baldwin saying he didn't pull the trigger. It just went off. Oh well. Stupid is as stupid does. Old, old Forrest was right. Guys, with that being said, anytime you leave the house, if you if you legally can, you need to be carrying, carrying some kind of self-protection. And remember, it's better to have this equipment and not need it than need it and not have it. And if you're prepping, you're going to live free forever. I'm the Ancient Warrior. We're out.